Welcome into Head Rich Tarot with me, Deborah. This is for the sign of Gemini. We are checking Gemini into different energies that is happening around you at this time, especially with regards to how you're feeling your emotions, what is going to be coming in around you, what direction are things going to be taking in your life. So let's have a look and see for you, Gemini, what oracle cards will come up for you. Okay, a card has fallen. It is you are unique. I love it so much. I really like, yes, you are. I will show you each one of these cards up close. Let's see what else will come in here for us, spirit guides, please. Let's have a look and see. First card out, um, it literally says, be yourself. Everybody else is taken. This is so true. Never try to be anybody else. Just try to be your own unique self and your own personality. It usually works. Let's see what other card will come up here. Heart of the matter. Align life's pathways through the heart. Last card out. Finding the path. You are the driver. And the navigator, yes, you are, my darlings. So the first card out that we did to have see that comes up is the you are unique energy. And usually when you are true to yourself, when you are unique and you know it, okay, and you literally, and Gemini, yeah, you guys can be pretty different than the majority of people. I feel like it's Gemini, Aquarius, sometimes Scorpio. They can be kind of like, you guys are kind of different, you know what I mean? Got your own unique way of doing things, being and expressing yourself. So be totally you. Um, if you are also in some kind of way uh, wanting to reveal yourself or wanting to show yourself your true self to the world, really, really do so. Because you never know who is about to fall in love with that true self that you are. You see what I mean? Um, you are unique. Be yourself, everybody. It's taken. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, the second card out, now we're moving into heart chakra energy because we have got the heart of the matter. So there is something going on here. I don't know if this is already happening with you now. We're going to see from the tarot cards that come out that has got something to do with... Um, emotion that's coming in here. And I'm specifically asking about emotional energies. Align life's pathway. I just noticed something. The second card called is finding the path. The second card, the third card out is called finding the path. And this literally just says align life's pathways through the heart. And the second card, these two cards are connected. Okay, they are connected to the same thing. Finding the path. You are the driver and the navigator. So there's something about these two cards that is connected. Possibly to the same person or to the same energy or to the same event okay so there could literally be a path that you are on right now that you are living uniquely as yourself literally being out there um you know in some kind of way living your life out there and you know following your own path your own dreams that is putting you on the right path to make you find something else so let's go see what this is this one's really really interesting i'm really really curious to see what will come up in your reading spirit guides you better show us what's going on here so your own unique path is how you're going to maybe find love here what is so interesting is that that's what i've always been told by my spirit guides whenever i do even a personal reading or i do a reading where somebody is asking how do i find love the way to find love is usually through your own heart, okay, through yourself. Um, I think when we are looking for love, what we are really looking for is truly ourselves, you know, and we look for ourselves through the eyes of another person. And when we are looking for love, it's also an indication that love does not reside inside of us. We cannot look for something that we do not have. So the way to find real, true love is to put the love inside of you meaning love needs to reside here in you and that is when love will come to you and that is why this card has come up here like be your unique self love yourself the good the bad the ugly the the wonderful the amazing and all the negative stuff and all the positive stuff because it all makes up who you are and don't carry guilt don't carry fear um you know shame all those kinds of things we're all good and bad we are all 
intelligent and extremely naive at the same time. And you need to love every part of yourself as you are. Um, the self-love journey, and not only self-love, because self-love can even be overrated. It can become a cliche now. The journey of you literally um, going on the path of your life, finding out who you are, expressing it out there, building yourself, revealing yourself. It's how you find love in you. And that's how you are going to get to this place where somebody else will see the same thing. Okay, it's a beautiful message. Okay, so we've got a King of Wands coming in here. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. What else do we have? The Hangman. Your weight is over. Okay, this card came up in the reverse, so I'm going to leave it like that. The World card. Wow. Five of Swords. The Eight of Wands. The Two of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Cups. Your path <laughs> is an interesting one because I feel like with what I'm seeing here, it looks to me, and I, I don't make up the cards. I don't, I have to take them as they are coming out. I have to read them as they are, are being represented. Um, I feel as if there could be a decision that somebody is making currently at this time. I will show you why. Um, we do have a King of Wands coming in here. King of Wands is talking about creation. Talking about King of Fire, right? So we're looking at Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Talking about what can I create in my life? Remember, we're looking at somebody being very unique, very themselves. It can be your energy. It could also be a life that needs to be created. King of Wands is a very bold energy. And sometimes King of Wands can be seen as somebody who is about to make a move and do it with confidence. I honestly feel like when, I, when I'm looking at you on the table, it's like somebody... From what I can pick up here, somebody is about to make a big move towards you. And this is somebody that you know, I've got to tell you. It's somebody that you know. One way or the other, you know this person. There's a history, okay? Um, the Queen of Cups comes in here. So this could be representative of your energy. Um, or it could be literally the self that journey. Queen of Cups, there it is. Be uniquely yourself. I was just explaining everything. Everything I was just talking about with regards to how you find love, how you align your energy, it comes up in the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a card of taking care of yourself so that you are safe and protected and doing the right thing, even though sometimes it's hard, but you know it's the right thing for you. That's self-love. Self-love can sometimes be walking away from something that is not serving you, even though your heart is saying, I so badly want to say, but it's not good for me. That's why the Queen of Cups has a lid on her cup because she's learned that sometimes she needs to shut her heart off so that she can also be okay. And I feel like you've done that. But something is going on here um, with regards to whoever, whoever is being represented by this energy. Dropping cards, I'm just saying. By this energy. Um, something is going on. And I don't know if it's you. It can be you. Remember, this is a general reading. It can even be the person that we are looking at here that has been holding back with the hangman card coming in here. Remember, it's so funny because all the cards that I've taken out are in the upright position. Somehow my little hangman went into the reverse. Spirit guides, there you go, you do your thing. Meaning that the wait, the delay, the wondering is over. Somebody has seen the light of day. Somebody has had some kind of enlightenment real to them. Some kind of understanding. The veil was removed and the truth was seen. And because of that, they are going to come in here. I feel like this person is coming back into your world with a offer of some kind. And the situation... Um, I honestly feel like it's coming in very, very quickly. I'll show you why. It's going to bring up differences of opinion between two people. But they're coming in here very quickly, very fast, coming in this energy, entering into your world. It's almost like you yourself, you've, you've made decisions about your life and you've made new choices about where you want to go, what you want to be. And this person's re-entry into your world here is going to bring up 
maybe differences of opinion between this person and you. So you've got a five of swords. Five of swords means conflict. Um, something that now needs to be worked through. Something that needs a solution, basically. Because when something comes up in life, sometimes we are faced with the five of swords. We're looking at problems that have happened before. And just because there's been distance and time between you and this person, it does not mean that the problems are going away. The problems are still there and they still need to be solved. So I feel like this will bring up a bit of conflict. But what you need to know is that this is speeding up very quickly. This is coming in very, very fast for you. The Eight of Wands literally means whatever lies around this card, speed it up much quicker. So you've got this energy of somebody incoming here. And for some of you guys, I don't think at this moment that you've seen this because you've got a Two of Swords coming in here. I don't feel as if um, you have got the got the message from this person yet so it's something that you do not see i also feel like a part of you um may not know what to do here may not know i have to check for you <laughs> i'm going to see what lies under the deck at the end of the reading just to get an overall energy should you should you not okay if you because this is a tarot reading. Tarot readings are meant for guidance and they are reading current energy. But at the end of the day, you yourself are your own high priest, high priestess. You are your own guidance. Whatever your heart tells you is what you need to do. Okay? This is letting you know what's coming in. Okay? So I do feel like you do have a choice to make. Um, with regards to this person it's going to bring up a lot of things inside of you maybe that you had thought was left behind and you might kind of go oh whoa now i got to handle this situation with this person what do I do now I feel like you will make a decision about this and why I'm saying it's somebody you know because it's the six of cups you know, literally you've got a six of cups and a seven of cups so i need to make a decision about the six of cups that is coming in here with that cup one more time to maybe offer me that cup of love so i feel like yes there's been a distance between you and this person you may not have had communication for a little moment you know what i mean but that is coming in here and this person is coming in very very bold very very bold and you yourself you like literally um so careful with your heart right now so you should trust whatever your heart is telling you let's go to under the deck you gotta know spirit guides it's in your hands i don't know what lies under the deck let's have a look and see let's look together wow okay magician so okay this can work honestly yeah, I'm shocked because <laughs> I'd always be the one that goes, nah, you know what I mean? But a magician card means you can create your own future. It means if you put your mind to it and if this person is coming in here um, carrying magician energy, which means focus, focus, focus. It means they're serious. It means that they are looking at what action needs to get taken. They are looking at the love that they have for you. They are looking at where their focus is going. And they are looking at um, how to solve problems here and stability. That's why you have all these little tools laying out on the table. All of the suits that are the cups, the swords, the wands, the pinnacles. It is literally laid out on the table over there. It is because they are needing to have all of these tools if they want this to work with you and to have the magician coming up here if you both are on the same page yes you can manifest a relationship with this person and a long one a long lasting relationship there we go thank you so much gemini my beautiful gemini thank you so much if it does resonate with you i am really really happy that it does it, it's i'm so glad you aligned with the energy you were called in to get the message that you needed to get at this time um if you do resonate hit the thumbs up button Thank you. Um, if you do wish to subscribe to the channel, I'll be gratefully and internally 
grateful, <laughs> truly, and honored as well that you want to share your energy with me and I share mine with you. If you are already subscribed, hello, how are you doing? It is always so wonderful. I get to know so many of you guys, even through personal readings, you know, I see your comments and I know you, you're coming into a reading and um, even just to see you guys' comments, there's so many people out there that I know so well for, like I'm telling you for years now in the comments, you guys are so wonderful. Sending my love to you guys all. Bye.